Does a four inch nine millimeter rival a snub nose 357 Magnum? And today what I have is a Hornady Critical Defense. Funny thing is I used to carry that Critical Defense 357 Magnum as my carry round for probably two to three years, but I actually never tested it. And it's rated at 1500 feet per second. And the rule of thumb is usually that if something's rated at 1500 feet per second, you're gonna get 1250 out of a snub nose revolver if it's a 125 grain. So we'll see if we get that 1250 feet per second and see what kind of damage it does. Nine millimeter rated at 1140 feet per second, by the way, 115 grain, nine millimeter, 125 grain, 357 Magnum. So we'll see how they compare. So we're gonna go through the chronograph and see what kind of velocity and accuracy we're getting at the same time. And then as always, we're gonna go through the juggernaut box, which contains a one and three quarter inch pack of baloney covered by four layers of denim, followed by one quarter inch medium density fiber board and into gallon jugs of water and how this represents ballistics gels. This is about um, six inches of re resistance of, of, of this pack. Each water jug after the fact is about three inches. So if we get to the back of the third jug, that's pretty much average. So let's see what we get with the 357 Magnum critical defense versus the nine millimeter critical defense in a four inch barrel. So let's get started with the test. All right, nine millimeter critical defense. We'll see if we get that 1140 feet per second. 1136, 11.33, 11.10, 11.40, 11.47, so pretty darn close to what the rate of velocity is. That's pretty good that they get that close to it. Now let's see how the 357 Magnum compares. All right, Critical Defense 357 Magnum, even though we're not going to get rated, obviously, at the short barrel, my expectations are going to be 1250 feet per second, so let's see what we get. read on that one. Well, I don't think we're getting 113 feet per second, so I'm going to back up a little bit and see if that makes a difference. All right, since I'm about eight yards, I'm going to do the uh, do single action. I'll read. 13.33. I'll read. 12.89. I'll read. I'm, I'm going to run some more and see what I get. I'll keep going and get some more velocity numbers if I can. 1292. I'll read. 1218. 1284. So it did beat my expectations. I was going to assume 1100 feet per second, but it's getting actually pretty good velocity. Which makes me wonder what we actually get in a four inch barrel. So I'm going to run a couple through the four inch barrel just out of curiosity. All right, again, we're from about eight yards from the target. Let's see what we get. 1431. 1446. So this truly is a full house magnum. You know, 1450 is what we're getting with a lot of <clears throat> 125 greens. Now, the American Gunner was getting way less than that, 125 greens. So the critical defense actually is loaded pretty hot, so decent amount of energy and velocity with these uh, critical defense rounds. Well, let's hit the ballistic box and see how they compare. All right, nine millimeter critical defense. We'll see what we get through the ballistic box. So here we go. All right, a lot of damage to jug one actually. A perfect centered shot. And what we got is actually. A larger than average hole through the uh, fiber board here. And really good damage to the baloney pack. Um, that's about what you expect to see with, with the standard pressure 9mm. So, looking pretty good so far. Jug 1 is just absolutely destroyed. Really big damage in Jug 1. Jug 2, we have a hole at the back of Jug 2. And we hit Jug 3. And Jug 3 is not leaking but there's a crack in it and the bullet is in the box so what we got is only about 12 inches of equivalent penetration to ballistics gel after going through that fiber board so a little bit less than desired um, penetration and we know that we had good velocity so it's not the cold weather so 
Uh, it'll work, but uh, that would definitely not meet like an FBI protocol. Now, let's see how the 357 Magnum compares. All right, 357 Magnum critical defense. Uh, we'll see if this compares to the 9mm. So here we go. Right. Definitely more damage to jug one in the baloney pack. It's shredded. And the fiberboard has a smaller hole than the 9mm, but the baloney pack is obviously a lot more damage to that. All right, jug one has a little more damage than the 9mm. It's not significant, but it's more. Jug two is empty. We cracked out the back, so definitely more damage. Jug three, we went right through three. We're in jug four, bullets in jug four, and there's a, a dent in jug five, so that's equivalent to 18 inches of ballistics gel. However, what we have with the bullet is no expansion. And this looks a lot like the impact on the fiberboard. Uh, there was a little bit of an oblong hole. So with the amount of energy we had, this should have expanded beautifully and it did not. So my overall takeaway of this ammunition is the 9mm performs pretty good, but a little bit low in penetration. But it performs consistently well as far as expansion. The 357 Magnum, if we fired more shots of it into the um, ballistic box, we might get expansion. However, I like to keep my test and, you know, the first shot will tell you what you might need to know because real world situation you might not have more than one shot land so it should perform perfectly every time and I would say that did not um, and for some reason it was tumbling we could tell that from the fiberboard picture so both of these are okay they would get the job done but I'm, I'm just not really impressed with them so that's what you get today with the Critical Defense and 357 Magnum Snub Nose versus 9mm 4-inch barrel. And as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.